so when we were doing the the quiz at the start um, and we were asking people some questions, uh, one of the things that, that people asked they wanted that the, the um, that this session to cover um, was around uh, the works being COVID secure. Um, and I was wondering, Russell, if, if you could just explain a bit more about what sort of protocols and, and oh, things yeah. are in place, just to reassure yep. people who, who, are, who are worried about that sort of thing, which is perfectly understandable oh, yeah, yeah, given yeah. everything. Yeah, well, uh, as you might imagine, from February 2020, this has occupied most of my life. Um, and the, we've actually invested a huge amount of time and effort in putting together the processes to, to give people comfort. Um, so even the, the surveyor that will come to your property, I mean, I've, I've been having quite a lot of work done on my own property in the last uh, sort of three or four months. I moved moved house recently. Uh, that was not a particularly COVID secure experience, I can tell you. Um, but and, and most contractors or even surveyors that will come to a property these days, they stick a mask on and hope for the best. Not in my house, not in, the, not in this scheme. So our surveyors will send you a questionnaire before we arrive. Uh, it can all be done on email. This is not this is something that's particularly paper based, but if you're not conversant with email and you want this done uh, uh, paper based, it can be done that way too. So don't feel excluded in any way because uh, you're, you're worried about electronics. Um, but we need to evaluate the situation, you know, what your particular, your personal vulnerability might be, or most importantly, the most vulnerable person in your house. Um, if they're shielding in any way, um, if they're susceptible, um, uh, uh, obviously you're probably aware COVID, uh, it, the, the risk uh, of, uh, of exposure to COVID is very much uh, proportional to the age, uh, the age of the oldest person in the property. So we would evaluate that and that dictates how we will control the environment. So this applies to the contractors as well. If it's not, nothing's going to stop us basically, but it might be that you have to sit in the, you have to go and sit, sit under an umbrella in the garden for an hour while we do our survey. We always ask you to open all your doors and windows uh, uh, as when, when we, we when we are there, and certainly all your windows for at least twenty minutes before we are there too. What we found is that our our surveyors are often more nervous about this than you are, uh, because they could go into a number of properties in a day, and they are more likely to be exposed to this than than, than you are. So actually. Uh, being a bit selfish, we've done this mainly for them, not for you. Um, although you do get the benefit. Um, so there's a there's a survey, there's a risk assessment. We'll agree all the rules for how we'll we'll survey your home home before we, before we step into it, and we we have a lovely set of of of, of, of wet wipes that we'll make sure that if we touched anything uh, as we leave the property, we'll wipe it and when we leave the the, the the place as well. All of our guys will be wearing uh, gloves. And we will dispose of those in, in, a, uh, in a in a responsible way as well uh, once we've left the property. So uh, hopefully uh, that that gives you some comfort. But obviously, when you see the documentation, if you don't like it, you don't have to say yes uh, to this. Uh, but I can assure you, it, I think you'll be quite impressed with the way we've with that. And that's just a survey. The, the contractors obviously will have the same level of rigor to the way we deal with uh, our activities in, in, in this as well. So. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is that we won't have more than two people from the contracting side in the property at any one time either. Obviously, the more people you have in a property, the more the risk goes up as well, and we'll deal with that in the same way. So, uh, obviously, if you've had your injections, the risk levels go down. That's all part of our our, our assessment process, um, and uh, it's all kept taken account of. The thing we always like to do as well is to make sure that even if you've um, got, if the contractor is not dealing with things in the right way, kick them out. Um, uh, speak to your retrofit coordinator, call our office, you'll have uh, contact with uh, our call centres, always always open at working hours, so you can call people out and ask if you think it's, if it's, they don't think it's right, uh, uh, even before the contractors have arrived. If you don't think it's right, we won't go ahead with it. So this is, this is all, you are in control of this situation, but I can assure you we've had all the different variations of how this might go wrong thrown at us over the last year, and we, we think we've got processes now that handle everything. Um, so uh, hopefully that's got some comfort. Uh, for all of you guys.